Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons and Dragons, and we're going to talk about Deadpool 3, uh, and what Deadpool 3's attention means for Dungeons and Dragons, and the path for Dungeons and Dragons to move forward. So, um, so I was really shocked. So, uh, my favorite movie reviewer, um, and actually I would say she is, she really is still a movie reviewer, and, and this is a movie, this is Deadpool 3 coming up. Right, so uh, first of all, if you didn't know, Deadpool 3 um, just had a big, huge announcement for its content, which was um, Deadpool 3 is happening. That, you know, that's, that's, uh, so basically, yeah, so all this came out at once. Deadpool 3 is actually happening. How do we know that? We got some real pictures from the set, right? And um, it's with Ryan Reynolds, right? So, and that's a big deal because it's your favorite person coming back with your favorite thing, right? And more than that, it is going to feature um, Hugh Jackman's Wolverine, right? And there was a picture from the set that was not leaked, but was actually put out officially by Ryan Reynolds on his Instagram. So it's official content, official announcement, um, that, you know, and so we know Hugh Jackman is going to be in Deadpool 3, and um, we also know at this point there's going to be multiple um, Wolverines in the movie, and we're going to see other uh, Fox X-Men um, actors and actresses, right? Uh, Famke Jansen, and, uh, you know, who knows? You, can even, you might even see Jennifer Lawrence up in there, right? Like, you know, a whole lot of uh, material, right? And it's, and it's exciting, and it's a big deal, right? Now, what really blew me away was um, um, Grace actually talked. So, what what really happened? Well, one picture on Instagram from Ryan Reynolds, and um, one picture from on Instagram from Ryan Reynolds, and you're seeing um, and and what does that picture contain? You know, and and it's. Uh, Hugh Jackman in the yellow and blue classic um, X-Men uh, X-Men outfit, and what's even more exciting is this is from the from the '90s animated show, right? Which is just tremendous. You know, it's, everybody's really excited about it, and they're excited about it because Marvel is continuing to move forward in this multifaceted really committing to the multiverse, right? And and, um, and, and also freely mixing uh, animated and live action and all of it's in canon and all of it's in one cohesive story. And this is really exciting because people are really sick to death of what they're seeing on, on, on DC, uh, on, you know, the DC Cinematic Universe. DC Cinematic Universe is confusing and un unconnected and sporadic and just crappy, right? Like, so you have this one cohesive um, story being told across me multimedia using legacy properties and using current properties and mixing it all together, right? And it just blew up, right? So I went to get my lunch, you know, and I, um, you know, the fast food restaurant that I went to, the, you know, the person who took my order, like, you know, they know me because I go there pretty frequently and they're like, hey, did you see the, you know, they kind of know I'm geek culture, right? And, um, did you see, you know, the, the DC, you know, the Marvel, you know, did you see the Deadpool 3, you know, um, announcement? And I was like, yeah, I sure did. You know, and they just were so excited. And what I think is really interesting is this is why Dungeons & Dragons matters and why OSC doesn't and why Pathfinder doesn't, right? It's this mixing the now and the fresh with the legacy, right? Dragonlance, Shadow of the Dragon Queen collect, connects right back to Dragonlance Autumn Twilight next right back you know f wesley snyder's new material connecting seamlessly with margaret weiss and tracy hickman's material right and actually i shouldn't say seamlessly like there's a lot of problems it's challenging and it's difficult right and it upsets people right but it is real and happening and it has real momentum and i think the same energy this is why Dungeons and dragons is important and why you should really not pay attention to OSC. You should really not pay attention to Pathfinder because tabletop role-playing games have a chance to really bust through and, and keep the same kind of excitement. But only Dungeons & Dragons has done the work. 
only Dungeons and Dragons has something real, something that's lasting, and ha something that has overcome the obstacles. And that's what you're seeing with Deadpool 3. You are seeing an intellectual property that has really overcome obstacles. And the reality is Pathfinder 2, ha you know, Pathfinder has really not had any obstacles. OSC really hasn't had any obstacles. And this is why no one's upset with them. No one complains about them. And the reason why is they never do anything that causes real momentum. They never do anything that actually matters, right? And that's the issue is in order to get here, you know, Ryan Reynolds had to really work. He had to work through, you know, to get it through Fox. And then he had to work through to get it through the problems of, of you know, transition to Disney. And he did it. He worked hard. He progressed. And he moved it forward. And Dungeons and Dragons is the same. Like the OGL crisis was real friction real drama, real fire, right? Like it was, you know, it, you know, people came for Dungeons and Dragons, literally came to destroy it and end it forever, right? And my, and you know, and we have this decision everywhere, right? Oh, there's a problem. Oh, let's all abandon Twitter and go over to Threads. Threads can kick rocks. It's new, it's crap, it's junk, it should be ignored, right? And that's, that's my point is, let's celebrate intellectual properties, products, apps, right, that have withstood the test of time and are not just dusty junk from the past, but actually something real that we want to be here. And a, a perfect example of this is, uh, I really like the comic book, uh, dot com, the, the comic book on, the character sheet on comicbook.com. And they just did it, and they, they said it. They're like, oh, hey, abandon Twitter and go over to Threads. But you know what we really want? We want everything to die and no one to use social media. Because the best way to keep, you know, to keep tabletop roleplay games fresh is to abandon the most powerful connection tools in, in the world, right? Like, and that's the point is, you, you have a choice, right? And the reality is, you know, people could be like, oh, we love Deadpool 1 and 2, but Disney's not going to do it right, so let's abandon it, right? And this is what I'm saying is stay on Dungeons and Dragons. Stay with it. Let's celebrate what's real. We have something that's real. Just like Ryan Reynolds has Deadpool, we have Dungeons and Dragons. We have multiple connections to real brands and really cool things and things that actually matter. We have momentum. We have overcome obstacles. And what we have matters and is real and is important, right? So let's not abandon it. Let's not be thread sacks, right? Like, oh, let's run over to threads. And, uh, you know, because we don't like Elon Musk. But you know who's really cool? Mark Zuckerberg. Like, you know, stay on it, man. Do not abandon the momentum we've built. Stay on Dungeons and Dragons. OSC can kick rocks. Pathfinder can kick rocks. We have something real. We have something with momentum. We have something with legacy that has 